How's it going, everyone? Chris from One More Game MTG and Warhammer 40,000 season has just begun, where we have connected Warhammer 40,000 with Magic the Gathering and made an epic, insane battle. Spoiler season is absolutely hot right now, and we're going to start it off with Magnus the Red. It is probably going to be the new absolute beast king of Is It Spellslinging. Three blue red for a four five demon Primarch with flying. Unearthly power. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast for each creature token you control. This already on the get-go is a phenomenal ability. Being able to reduce the cost of every single instant or sorcery spell that we cast for each token is insane. The amount of ability and flexibility this card can offer is through the roof. There have already been amazing other creatures like this before, and this just adds to the top end of it all. And the secondary ability, Blade of the Magnus. Whenever Magnus the Red deals combat damage to a player, create a 3-3 red spawn creature token. It is really awesome how they additionally have also added this in there. So even if you don't have any creature token options on the battlefield itself, you now can fly in, deal combat damage, and create a 3-3. So on its own, you can reduce the cost by a single generic and then just spam from there. This is going to be an insane commander. Now let's get right into it and see what cards would work best for this commander. Now spell slinging on isn't, isn't something new. This has been around for a very long time, so this is like the next upgrade to where it's going to be. Before we had Mizzix of the Magnix. So look at Magnus, it's already there. It's ready to go. This is a great alternative if you want to build Magnus the Red and basically don't know where to go. You start off with Mizzix of the Magnus and you already have everything you need to be. It was a 2-2 Goblin Wizard. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you put an experience counter. Then, instant or sorceries you cast cost one less generic. So now instead of getting experience counters, we're going to get tokens. And for the amount of value we have out of this, I think the new Magnus is way to go. Now a phenomenal way to get those tokens in the battlefield are just some of the OG spell slinging token creators. Talran Sky Summoner, Young Pyromancer, and Murmuring Mystic. Each of these will create a token on the battlefield every single time you cast an instant or sorcery spell. Now, cast an instant or sorcery, create a token. Then just spiral through and through and just get as much value as possible without ever having to worry about. We can now spam the board, make the board go even wider than it was before, make the spells cost even less, and then just keep triggering and spiraling out of control to an insane win. These are cards that basically everyone has in their collection already. So, and if you don't, they're like pennies. This is a great way to start this deck off. And there are even other spells that just create a massive amount of tokens at a single time. Goblin Offensive, Release the Gremlins, and Elemental Mastery are great ways to consistently to create tons of tokens. You have options. Create X11 Red Goblins, destroy X Hard Artifacts, and create X22 Gremlins. And Enchanted Creature, you tap it to create X11 Red Elemental Tokens with X the power. Slap this onto our commander, tap it, you now have four tokens. That will reduce the ability of any instant or sorcery of the cost by four mana. Elemental Mastery costs four on its own, so basically casting this for almost free is an insane value. Now adding even more value, we add like the basic overall, is it spell slinging combination? Archmage Emeritus, Storm Kiln Artist, and Burgey God of Storytelling. These are great options when you're playing is it spell slingers. Archmage Emeritus, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you draw a card. The Storm Kiln Artist, you create a treasure token every time you cast an instant or sorcery spell. And Burgey, you'll get a red mana every single time you cast a spell. This is going to add and add up. So basically, even though we're getting a reduction of cost, now we have the ability to get even more reduction because that's free mana on top of this. With these three creatures on the battlefield, we'll be able to generate enough mana to go through the entire deck in a single swing and win the game. Now when it's time to round the game out, you have Gutter Snipe, Electrostatic Field, and Kessig Flame Breather. These are awesome, awesome creatures. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, so those instant sorceries, you're going to deal one damage to each opponent. That will add up substantially. This way, when you're casting as many instant and sorcery spells from your hand, now you'll be able to deal the damage to the opponents just from them alone. This way, now we have a double effect on all our instant and sorceries. We create the tokens, we reduce the cost, and we kill all our opponents immediately. Now, once we've generated enough tokens in the battlefield, our X spells are going to cost probably almost nothing to cast, maybe a single red or a single blue pip. What spells do we cast? That's the biggest question of all. Start things off, we have Capsize. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Pretty much you have all the mana you possibly could by reducing this cost by at least three, if not four. For double blue, we can return any permanent to its owner's hand. This way, we can now bounce all their lands in addition, 
pretty much reset the game for them? Or even simply drown in dreams. X2 and a blue. Choose one. If you control your commander, you choose both. Target player draws X cards or target player mills twice X. Pretty much we can draw our entire deck and mill an opponent for their entire deck. That's pretty much insane right there. And if we want to kill off the other opponent, guess what? Expansion Explosion. X blue blue, red red. It deals X damage to any target and then another target player, if not the same one, draws X cards. We could potentially deal X damage to one player, have them mill their entire lot, they usually draw their entire deck. That's insane value right there. And this is just the beginning. There are so many spells out there. When you reduce the cost, they just win the game on spot. And winning the game on spot, we have Crackle with Power. X, 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 red, red. It deals five times X damage to each to X targets. Once you've reduced the cost enough, you're pretty much going to win the game immediately with this. This is definitely the perfect top end card when playing this deck. So that was my quick take on Magnus the Red. Warhammer 40k, never played it, but this is insane. The amount of value you get off this one creature, and it's already an is it? That's perfect. We can make tokens so easily in blue and red already. It doesn't seem like there's any other combination that would work so beautifully than the is it colors. I am absolutely stoked to see the rest of the many cards. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Chris from One More Game MTG. What do you think is going to be? Is Magnus the Red the new Is It Spell Singing Commander top option? Let me know in the comments down below. Remember, like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for future videos. Thank you very much. Peace.